Sonia and Sasha. Thank you so much for staying with us on Brim Bank Live on Live FM. You're with the Sonia and Sasha for Real Show. It's Friday. It's the school holidays. We're excited. We're happy. We're in the ring of steel. Thanks to Dan the man. I'm not sure how long that'll last. (laughs) What do you think, Sasha? We need to get out. We need to get out of this ring of steel. I need to jump out. Like I'm going to get to this ring of steel and I'm going to jump so high. Like, you know, white men can't jump. I'm a white chick and I can jump. I'm going to get out of this as quick as possible. I can't wait. Hey, I actually went to the park this week. I, oh. I felt like when I was at the park, I felt like I was in a club. Yes. I put my headphones on. I started dancing around. Yeah. I had, you know, had a bit of usher going and I was there by myself. I was checking out a couple of other parents. They looked like they were just as happy as me. We were out. We were like just the fact that we even went to the park, that was incredible. Yeah, for us. I know. Our mental health has really, mm. really taken its toll. Like we just it has. 20 weeks, 20 weeks of us homeschooling. Mm. This is yep. killing us. And not just killing us, it's it's seriously, I know my children are gonna have to lock in and get some therapy just on the fact that really? I've been yelling at them for 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> totally. Right, you know, this is exactly- I think of it this way. They're very proficient in mm. um, bad language. So we have uh, introduced, they are bilingual yeah. is what I'm saying. Oh, I'm putting okay. that in my resume. Yeah. So because we are talking about that, we thought we might get a little bit serious. Mm-hmm. This is our new segment. Son- oh, Sonia and Sasha, get serious. It's time to get for real. All right, but so we've actually, yes. we've actually got a guest now. An expert, an expert. I know. This is Brimbank, Brimbank Live on Live FM and we've actually got somebody from Brimbank Council and we have one of their their support counsellors and support workers and that is Julian Shuckman. Hello. Hey, hey, welcome. Julian. Welcome. Sasha. Love the last me. name, Shuckman. I'm sure you've used that in a couple of bars every now and then. I'm uh, Shuckman. No, but... Um... <laughs> Well, I'm glad we're getting serious here. I, I, don't, I don't tend to drop my surname uh, on, on first introductions. But, oh, you know, right. Maybe, oh. I should, maybe I should start, Sasha. Well, yeah, yeah I, I definitely. One. Hey, how you doing? I'm Shockman. Yeah. You know, I think it's an it's, opening yeah, line. It's a very so hang good on one, a second. Yeah. Now, you're actually one of the councillors and support workers for Brimbank Council. Is that right? Tell yes, us a little Brimbank bit about City that. Council. Yes, that's right. So Brimbank Youth Services. So we work with young people at 12 to 25 years old. And, um, you know, really what we want to, you know, what I'm here to talk about and and it's really, it's fantastic that you're doing this today, both of you talking about um, mental health and supporting young people and in the Brimbank area and um, that's what we're all about. So we want to kind of like just encourage young people to seek help, seek support if they're feeling low, if they're having some trouble at home, if, you know, if, they're just not feeling themselves to kind of reach out. There's so many support services out there. Brimbank Youth Services is one of those. Um, and, yeah, that's, you know, we just want to encourage young people right now um, to, to reach out. So you're part of the wellbeing team and mm-hmm. so you're talking about counselling and support. What's the difference between being, what's the difference between counselling and support? Because I need a bit of support and I need a bit of counselling, you know what I mean? <laughs> so I'm not really quite sure. I'm not really yeah. feeling myself at all so tell us what's the difference between counseling and support yeah no it's a great question Sasha look we so supports are kind of look it is a broad term and like supports kind of like if a young person was to call up um that that's kind of where we start we start with support and and that might be like going oh so what's going on mate you know what services we get what are you you know what, what what's going on at the moment and then we might direct them to services so it might be like all they need from us is to is to have a chat and then we find like the correct help them find the correct service within the Brimbank area. Mm-hmm. Um, but it might also be that they've got a you know a bit a bit of an issue, but they're not sure exactly how to talk about it, mm-hmm. or they're just feeling some stuff and then they're not sure um, you know what kind of support they need. So we might start with just asking a few questions and that's what support's really about. It's just kind of like those initial questions just to get a conversation going. And then one way of thinking of counselling is, is kind of like a bigger conversation, a longer mm-hmm. conversation, a more in-depth conversation, like, a, like a, a deep and meaningful. It might go for like, a you know, several sessions, for example. And the kind of thing that Bring Back New Services do Sasha and Sonia, is we kind of, we can work often up to about 10 sessions with young people. So it's kind of short-term-ish, but 
you know, if young people need a bit more, then sometimes it can be a bit flexible. But most of the time it's, it's you know, just it's, it's um, you know, working with them to find them the right package of support um, within the Brimbank area. So what kind of issues are young people approaching you with at the moment, especially given this craziness that we're experiencing with COVID, Jules? Yeah, look, Sonia, it's, it's actually, it's not that, it's not necessarily that things have, I mean, things in many ways, and you, you've talked about it this morning, things have changed, you know, mm. like, you know, we talk about that ring of steel and um, there, there is a sense that things have changed um, and young people are experiencing more of um, what they had previously experienced. So it's not, it's, it's, I suppose that for a lot of them, um, for some of them it is like it is a real step change, you know, like it might be stuff that they've never experienced before. So it might be that, you know, they are experiencing, you know, a serious a mental health kind of condition and that may have uh, come about during um, this COVID time. But yeah. um, for, for, for some of them it is, um, it's that increase in, in pressure that you've been talking about this morning, which means that um, things like, you know, that family conflict, they might be having a little bit more of that, uh, mm. you know, arguing with mum and dad. It's, you know, like homeschooling. I mean, I, I know you two, you know, doing a bit of that as well. And it's hard for young people. So it's difficult for them. So um, that that's, so, you know, it's, it's managing things um, that, Maybe they have managed in the past, but now it's just getting a, a bit more on top of them. So it might be family conflict. Um, it might be that, you know, they're feeling a little bit more low than they're used to. Um, it, it might be that, um, you know, um, uh, like a whole range of things that they've previously experienced, but but now it's just um, it's just a bit more. It's a bit more of a struggle. Mm. So what yeah. do you actually physically do? Like are you the person that somebody might, you know, get to speak to? Yeah, absolutely. So there's a there's a few of us in the team. Um, I'm one of the counsellors um, and one of the support workers. Um, so um, I, I kind of do a bit of both um, and, and it really does depend, um, Sasha, on what the young person needs. So it might be... So, uh, so for some of them, you know, we are pretty, we're pretty chill. We're pretty cool with like, if it's just sometimes it might just be like, you know, um, just having a bit more of a chat. Um, and and some some sessions, it's it, it is more just like, you know, how you doing today, mate? You know, and, mm. and, and that's all a young person might need that day. So tell us, okay, so what mm. age group do you have to be in to access these services for young people? Yeah, so look, Sasha, it's a, it's a free service um, available to young people in Brimbank and it's 12 to 25. So, you know, um, and there's a there's kind of a range of um, things that are available. So if any young person does um, want to make contact, um, then, uh, you know, between the ages of 12 and 25, if they live, work, play in Brimbank, Hang it's on, available. play. Does that mean just might visit someone in the bubble so I can cop a bit of counselling as well? Is that what it is? I just yeah, came to play in the park in Brimbank. Can I get some therapy? Is that how it works? You know what? It, hey, it, Brimbank's it, got it a couple all, of good parks. Sasha, so and this is the thing, it it almost does. So that's that's the thing. We wanna we wanna have a pretty open kind of service to young people. And you know, the 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 worst thing that can happen is we is we say um, you know, oh, maybe here's a, here's a service that's more appropriate for you. So it's, yeah. it's kind of like worth kind of like giving us a call. If, you, if you're feeling a bit of a change, you're not feeling yourself, that kind of thing, you know, that's, that's what we're here for. Now, how long, is there, take to, sorry, how long does it take to before we, you can actually get an appointment with you? Like is it take a long time? Because sometimes with this stuff you have to wait a few weeks and it, you really need somebody right now. What's the time, line, time frame? So, look, we... It, it can vary, and that's not being, me being tricky. Like it, it is just being honest. It, yeah, it can vary, but a lot of the time it's it's a matter of weeks rather than than months. And and you know you, we've we've talked about COVID a bit today, and and it has put a lot of pressure on the system. It's mm, so of a lot of people are feeling pressure. Young people, parents, um, and young people, and the system's feeling that a bit too. So that yeah. means that there's times when it may be. 
um, a little bit longer for us to kind of, we will try to respond quite quickly, like within a week, you know, we'll try mm. to respond to a young person um, and, and sometimes even a bit quicker than that. Um, and, and quite often, you know, you pick up the phone and you, and you call and, you know, within, within a very short period of time, a matter of days, you're going to get a call back. But Great. then in terms of being able to, say, get, you know, a bit of a, a package of support and a, a proper conversation about what, what a young person might need, that may take uh, like a little bit longer, but usually weeks. Not we're not talking about months. Good, that's amazing. This there's, there's some really incredible actually... services out there. And is it a cost um, associated with these services, Julian? No, it's it is a free wow. service. That's um, fantastic. And generally, um, what we recommend as well, and, and we know that there's a lot of financial kind of struggle as well for a lot of young people and. Uh, in the community so you know we, we are offering a free service and, and a lot of services even we might refer on to um, and talk to young people about that they can access are also free so we kind of try to keep all that kind of stuff in mind. So how do people find you? Yeah no thank you for that so look there's a few ways um, so one of the best ways is just to call us so then we can just have start that conversation and that's 9249 um, 4110, 92494110. And that's that's the best way to make contact with us um, and get someone to talk to you very quickly. Um, and the other way is, um, you know, you, you might use your search engine and, and look up Brimbank Youth or Brimbank Youth Services. Um, you can also follow us and, and keep up with information. We've got Brimbank Youth on Facebook and you can follow us on there. So, look, there's a few ways to... Um, to find us and to, to find more information about the services available for young people in Brimbank. So you're saying is most of the time you and I are 23 and a half, we actually qualify for this. So Which I might actually do. give you a call after and tell you a couple of my problems there, Julie. Yeah, oh, yeah. I've okay. actually I've actually celebrated my 23 and a half birthday for the last 10 years. So that's been mm-hmm. going well. Um, <laughs> so I think, uh, you know, like I think it's all it, the responsibility of what's going on with our young people and them being able to be okay with accessing support services can really fall on all of us because we can just start conversations. Um, one of the things I know that Sasha and I have been doing every week while this COVID thing's been happening is reaching out to young people that are following us or that we're, you know, in contact with via social media and just checking in. How are you going? What's going on? And we had our Are You OK Day last week that we celebrated, but I think it's on all of us to just check in with each other, stay connected, stay, that you know, stay communicating because that tiny little conversation that, you know, how are you doing? What's going on? Can actually lead to, well, actually I'm struggling a little bit. And then we've got these amazing services that are free in our community that can really make such a massive difference in a young person's life. And I think it's going to be a very different ball game when we start opening up again. There'll be a, a different set of issues with young people because they have been, we've all been imprisoned and held back and I think we're all going to let loose a little bit after this. So there might be a whole lot of different stuff that we'll be talking about after the yeah. lockdown's finished, Jules. What and do you think? Well, if your council doesn't actually create service, I'll just come over and uh, use Brimbrake play in their park and, park and then um, give Julian a call. That's all I could say because I think that as long, <laughs> and as long as you fit into that um, age group, I think that this is a great service and I'm really, really glad that councils around Australia and especially Brimbrake mm-hmm. Council are able to offer these services and know that the, how important they are and the fact that they're for free. Like that is just huge and they can, you know, that you can actually access so many of these services. That is absolute gold and thank you so much for doing that. Can you give us that website and number one more time, Julian? Yes, so um, that number again is 92494110 and Brimbank Youth. So if you look up brimbankyouth.com, you'll find uh, all the Brimbank Youth services Um, and if you follow Brimbank Youth on Facebook, that's where you can find us. Oh, thank you so much, Julian. So you Be Heard Youth Support Program, yeah, through, mm-hmm. that's right, Julian, the Be Heard that's, Youth Support that's Program. That's right. And, and and just to, you know, in, in, so it's the Be Heard, that's a young person can make a referral through there themselves if they wanted to. Um, but certainly just give that number a call, speak to a worker, see, see you know, if, if you feel like it's the right fit for you and just, Um, Like both of you have been saying, it's a challenging time and just seeking support whenever you can. Um, You know, we all need it sometimes. Um, Every single one of us is, um, it's it's out there. There's a lot of challenges. So 
So please just give us a call if you feel like you need it. Beautiful. Thank you, Julie, and thank you for so, being such an amazing person in our community and helping so many young people through this really tough time and being a guest on the Sonia and Sasha For Real show. Sonia and Sasha, for real.